Hey guys, what's up? It's William Tang here with another Tribes Live Gameplay Commentary. Come on, coming at you guys a little late in this match, like one minute. I know. Oh, the horror. Um, but yeah, today we got some requested sniper gameplay. We gotta get this flag. Just kidding. We gotta throw this grenade. These grenades are dirty. Just kidding. They're not gonna actually land a hit. That's also pretty cool. Um, but yeah, today I want to try something new with the sniper. Although I'm a little not really set up here. Um. I, it's been a cross sighted sniper, and I absolutely hate playing this class. Uh, I just find it to be really boring to play. It's, I don't know. I never, I could never really think of what to do as this stupid ass class. And I was like, well, you pretty much gotta play flag defense, flag defense, or you know, some more flag defense. I figured this fractal was friendly, but no. Today we play gen defense because, well, I can. I'm level 45. I do what I want. I do what I want. And actually, it goes pretty well if you have the sap. And that was one of the main reasons I decided to do this. It was requested I use the sap. I'm like, what better way to use the sap than doing something ridiculously overpowered? And that there's no way snipers should actually be able to do this. But he gets away with it. We do have a little bit too much gen defense, so it might not work out as well as it normally does. But Arch Novena is a fantastic map. You can sit right below this ledge. You don't need to go for headshots, so just hit them right in the toes. Shoot off their foot. It works. Uh, normally, you can kind of camp this spot. You got... Actually, I forgot to throw this up here. You got your drop jammers so that they can't see you. You're like an infiltrator with 1,100 nades that he can just throw out. You gotta be careful, fusion motors. Look, you just go boom, throw a grenade. He runs back over here, 800 damage to the, the foot, and then assist. This this setup does does give you a lot a lot of assists, and that's never. I mean, it's not a bad thing. I normally I just finished a match. And I got doing this, and I got 16 assists and only 13 kills. Um, which is pretty eye-opening, but like right there, you can run out of the gen room real fast if, if you got your team's got it covered. Uh, you see the nothing else to do, kind of clean up, make sure everything's good. Make sure you upgrade all your base turrets and shit. I'm actually going to try to get my team to do that. Run button VRT. Hopefully that gets them up. Um, we don't need to camp. The generator's not helping us right now, so we had base turrets at like Mark three, then that'd be pretty cool. Um, but I'm using safety third and quick draw. Uh, I am using the accurate shotgun. I know it wasn't suggested, but um, I find it does do a little better in the gen room, kind of because you want that ex that big explosive shot instead of the uh, ability chain. Like right now, it's just a big explosion. It's I find it a little better against heavies uh, than the Falcon is. The Falcon, you get those change chains, but sometimes it just takes too long. Uh, against light classes, I do prefer the Falcon, and in open field, I do like the Falcon more. But this is an open field. I'm in the gen room, at least the majority of the time. This guy I know is going for the gen room, so I'm not actually in the gen room. But I can get him, like, coming back. Yeah, that would have been a kill. Probably should have been. And, I mean, I know the majority of these fractals are friendly. Well, that one wasn't. The, the biggest thing you gotta worry about is fractals doing this. And the final explosion of the fractal. Does 1,100. More than that. It, it depends on how you get hit. And it's absolutely nuts. Uh, that's the only reason fractals are good, in my opinion, is that final damage. That guy is going to be a bitch, and not let me get on that inventory station. Wow. Um, yeah, I was gonna say you gotta spam inventory stations. They are your only friends. Like you gotta keep get your grenades, spam your grenades, get more grenades, spam more grenades. Your job is to spam grenades because they do so much damage. You don't have a spin fuser or anything explosive. You have really powerful grenades. I mean, you could. I wouldn't even try using claymores. Grenades are like a claymore that you get to decide who you hit with, like, and throw it and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's not to say you can't do a little bit of flag D. Um, this guy, I don't think, has a spin fuser, so I'm in good shape. And if people are running away from you like this, this is an easy kill. Just pick it up real fast, get your killing sprees. But I'm definitely staying around this entrance of the gen room, if you've noticed. Making sure it's well defended. They're not putting any pressure on this, really. I mean, we do have, like, five heavies down here. We did at one point. Who's just fractal spamming? So that's gonna kind of out frag you. But it's actually a lot of fun to do. Arch Novena I found is one of the better maps because you can stay in that quarter. Bell Omega is fantastic. Um, Dry Dock. If you're playing as Blood Eagle, the Gen Room's good. If you're playing as Diamond Sword, it sucks dick. It's one of those things where the maps aren't symmetrical and they're gonna kill you. Give me the spike. Yes, sir. That's pretty sick. All right, let's see if I hit this capper too. I would, that would make my day. Normally I can't hit capper to save my life. Oh, got him. Dirt. Pure dirt. Um, yeah, so I was like, well, I don't want to do another 
uh, I kind of got this idea because I don't want to do another Pro Scope video. I mean, Pro Scope 3.0. Let's go. Now. Na God, our team can't hit it. Hit, hit this scrub. Wow, I'm not, I'm not helping our cause here. Okay. But, like, it's kind of like those things. Like, I gotta, you gotta try something different with Sniper. I mean, there's no scopes. There's... I don't even know what else you could do that's half interesting in this class. I mean, it's kind of like point, click, and... Yeah. So, the two ideas in losing this gen room. Have your jammer packs up. I know I'm using the SAP 20, and I'm not using the energy recharge pack, so my shots... I can't get as damaging shots out as fast, but... I'm gonna rely on my sneakiness and my grenades to really get my kills. And then finish with a shotgun. Uh, don't double scope. I hate double scoping. Especially using a gen room. You're gonna be in relatively close um, proximity to the enemies. But you also want to use long shafts. Um, fuck! He should not have got me. That was a really bad misplay. You will die a lot of the times with Sniper because heavies one-shot you. And you have to deal with it. And it's painful. And I don't like dealing with it. But... You don't have a choice. It's kind of like, well, eh. You, you can't do anything about it. Um, but yeah, taking even back the generator on Arch Novena, it, this is a really good setup. Um, as long as your jammer packs are up, I keep. Oh, I, I have two up. Okay, good. Keep those two up. It keeps everyone hidden. They don't know what's happening, and you can see them from farther away. Uh, I maybe that's just me being crazy, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can actually see people. From a farther distance when you have those out. Again, I don't quite know. Oh shit! You are not the person I wanted to see. Oh, he had twin fuse, that's what got me last time. Like, there's no way de he got the two devastators twin fuse shots off that fast. Okay, he had twin fuse. That that makes sense. You need to know who what people are playing when they're playing gen offense. If they have twin fusers, devastators, heavy spin fusers, actually heavy stated, heavy and devastator don't really make a difference because they'll both one shot you. But twin fusers are important to note. Uh, I mean, twin fusers, I'm pretty confident going up against that compared to the MKX, because MKX can one shot me and twin fusers can't. I have that extra reaction time. Um, so there's definitely that, like how much time you have to react. Wow. And uh, the idea is you're, you're going to give them a very small, limited time to react to you. No one's going to expect a sniper in here. Like, I'm sure that guy was not ready. For a sniper to shoot him in the face. Um, normally, if there's aren't that many fractal spams, if you see those like the little red sensors, that means you know people are coming, so you can start uh, spamming a bit. Hide your sensors. And you can always prepare for people, but these guys are kind of fractal spamming because he doesn't have much of a life. I mean, I'm even topping over him. Um, but yeah, you can't be afraid to jump out and help flag carrier a bit. Um, you know, this is TDM. Remember that. Uh, the idea of the generator is just to lure people to you, um, make them come into the gen room. Obviously, they, they want kills. Uh, this guy's gonna get me fudge. He's a juggernaut. Spindix are the bane of my existence. I just get absolutely destroyed. M misdirections are pretty useful here. There we go. Even got even getting some no scopes in. How's that? We got gen defense and no scopes. So we're going to combine both of them. Nah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, SAP-20 is just an absolute boss sniper rifle. It is the best sniper rifle, hands down. That's why it's banned in comp. Because it is too good. This thing does too much damage. That's why this setup works. If you had anything else, this setup is not going to work very well. Because you have so much damage, you can just spill out of yourself for no random reason. Why the sniper has grenades that do 1100, I don't know. But I'm going to abuse them shitless. That's all I know. A shotgun, an Accurite shotgun that does more distance at long range, I'm going to abuse that. Personally, the Falcon and the Accurite shotgun are pretty much on even playing fields with each other. I really haven't been able to tell which is better. Normally, I choose Falcon when I play flag defense, and with this setup, I definitely like Accurized. I did mess with both of them for a long time, both on arcs. Like, I did one round with each. And, I mean, you can still do well if you don't have the Accurite shotgun or vice versa. Um... Depending on like what you have available, if you don't have like, enough cash money, woo. Um, you mean just make do with what you have. Either one of those are good. Uh, even the swag blaster, if you have that good aim with it, that could be useful. Anything. This sniper has some pretty damaging and devastating secondaries that I don't know why he has. That guy's gonna get hit for two 1100s probably. Oh no, he got out. But yeah, see now people are midair. Ooh. 
Say so people in mid are easier to hit because they can't AD and then I get blue plated, so it's kind of ironic. Um, that I probably should not have been in midair there. Um, but yeah, just in general, one shots will be one shots. All the heavy classes can do it to you. Uh, you need to be very, very, very careful. And most of the time, you you kind of have to deal with the fact like, oh, he blue plated me. Nothing I can do. I mean, I had him down, I outplayed him, he just blue plated me at the very end, so. I mean, I had better position and everything. And for the majority of the fight, I just gave him an opportunity, and he took advantage of it. And sometimes you can't uh, do anything about that, a missed opportunity like that. I don't know what the hell our team's doing, to be honest. I think we actually have too much gen defense. Oh my god, and I'm still second on the team. So you actually will do pretty well. Like, you're not going to be bottoming team and only getting, like, two kills. If you're doing this right. If you're that low on the team, it might be a good idea to switch. And if you see you have too much uh, blah, 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 blah. Gen D, then it's, you pretty much need to switch. Um, but yeah, I love Jammer Pack. Uh, the Jammer Pack all of a sudden. Just the ability to go like invisible as Sniper is pretty cool. That was gay. I would love for Hyrus to get rid of Orbital Strikes, but they're not. He's going to grab Flag. I'm going to miss my shot because just like all good Snipers, that's what I do. Oh, I actually... Oh, wow. I think I no-scoped him once too. Jesus Christ. What are the odds of that? I mean, I would have bet money I would have missed that shot. I mean, that's that's how little confidence I have in this, in my ability to play this class. You're dead. Don't know how that moron's not dead. How am I not getting chained out now? Okay, I was really worried about that. I'm like, he's got the war. I'm gonna get chained out. I'm gonna get scrub. No, nope, all good. I can't preach enough how good these grenades are, especially for this setup. Got him. Ooh, head shoots. Dirt. It's worth as much as a blue plate, but for literally no skill whatsoever. I don't know. There's, I, there are some snipers who are just really good, and you're just like, wow. But yeah, this is, this is for scrubs like me who can't play sniper on that level, who like to sit in gen rooms and be like, scoping in, scoping in, gonna shoot you when you walk around that corner. I feel like I'm kind of playing like a variation of COD with this. Gonna be all sneaky, crouch down, get them kills. Yeah. Shotgun OP, just like COD. Oh, man, like, I feel like I'm not going purposely going for no scopes now just to show myself up, and this should be pro scope 3.0 because I made 2.0, but I don't know. I like the idea of the gen defense was kind of cool. It's just a different role. You never, I don't see a lot, I don't see a lot of snipers do it but for good reason. I mean, it's not nearly as consistent as playing flag D because cappers are normally weak coming in. You can get some pretty easy kills. You know, that, that's, uh, shooting a shrike, because that does 36 fucking damage. Uh, shooting someone out of a shrike, now that's dirty. Oh, let's go. Nope. Oh, he's gonna probably go for a cap. Must I always throw my grenades? Got him. Oh, I knew he was doing it. You know what I'm gonna do. You, you know, I have to do this. I hope you guys know that. Alright, well, we got a little bit of everything. If, if they're just going to hand me a Shrike, I mean, I mean, I can't just turn that down. I'm going to go with this guy with his own Shrike. Or jump out of the Shrike and snipe him. Oh, I should have hit him. Alright, why I'm in this, I don't know. I mean, if you just see a Shrike laying around, you're not going to let a perfectly good Shrike just go to waste. Wait, eh, waste? Waste. And I mean, he's infiltrator, so he's kind of defenseless against this. Buddy, it's your own Shrike. Oh, he hit me. He hit me. That's not good. I might be capping here in a second. Might all come down. <laughs> he tried a smoke grenade. That was pretty cool. Ugh. Someone needs to hit him. Hopefully not this tank either. And hopefully th this tank doesn't, like, snipe me out. Okay, you guys know I'm going for a cap now. What If we can get this. Alright, well. It was nice knowing you guys. I enjoyed, I enjoyed playing Sniper. 300 cap, let's go. No reason this shouldn't work. Oh, that's, that's a Pathfinder. I don't like Pathfinders. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, man, I love Shrike Capping. Best thing to do in your free time. That is the best I can do. Sorry, Gabriel. Okay, somehow really need to take this flag from me. This is gonna go, this is gonna go so poorly. I don't even... Oh, shit, I'm gonna cap. Oh, shit. Sniper Gen D cap because strikes are OP. Let's go. I'm like all nervous now. 
They've managed to take out our gen room. Um, please just be a grenade. Frac fractal deep weeds. Okay. See, I'm gonna stand back here and just scope in and wait for people to walk across. Fractal ain't gonna hit me. Dang it. Again, people can't do anything when you have these drammers up. They're like, well, titties. So, I think everything's upgraded. Do we have everything upgraded? That's only Mark II. I'll go upgrade that. Make myself feel important. You can't kill me. I capped. I capped your flag, bitch. Yeah. I don't know why people just don't do that. Like, pro cappers. All pro right there. There, we got we got capping and sniping in one video. I don't think you can, I don't think you can top that. I think I did a raider video when I capped, but that that's besides the point. Like these guys, oh, he tricked me, but didn't get the blue plate. Ha ha, nan and a boo boo. Go stick your head in doo doo, as Todd would say. Oh, get down! Oh, quick scopes. Oh, marksman three, more XP. I don't need. Fantastic. Okay, back to Gen D. Woo! I feel I feel like I've actually accomplished something in this match. Most of the time I sit in the gen room and get like 30 kills and don't do much of anything, but you know, some some games just go that well. Oh, I was gonna upgrade that turret, wasn't I? Keep getting distracted. I was like, bitch, you can't hit me, and then I was like, ow! Dang it, someone already someone beat me to it. You actually get so many like unnecessary if he goes in the gen room, I'm gonna cry. Oh. No scope! Oh, I wanted to kill with it. I was gonna say, if I got quick scopes and no scopes and a flag cap and flag defense, man, that'd be the greatest video. This versatile sniper. You can do everything with this class. Except get blue plates, which is really unfortunate. Just give give the sniper a blue plating weapon. A sniper rifle that shoots. I got a sniping spree. Oh shit! As I was saying, a sniper rifle that shoots really fast, low damaging uh, spin fusers. That would be dirty and ridiculously OP. But, yeah, I mean, it's high res, so. Every weapon they introduced in this game was OP for a very long, very, very, very long time. Oh, I wanted that bike. I was like, that bike is gonna die. Uh, oh, I got hit him with a melee. We got melees. We got. I, I think I've done a little bit of everything in this. Jesus, this is a good video. This would be entertaining as all. I'm having. I'm like so entertained. This is the most. This is the best, like most entertaining game of sniper I've ever played in my life. And I mean, I have only have nine assists. I pulled off 16 in the course of five minutes. That is not fun. It's like, just give me a goddamn kill. Yeah, I finished games trying to do this. One kill, six assists. Like quick games. Like sometimes, like all the comp cappers get on one team. Like, okay, chain cap time. We don't like Stonehenge, <laughs> which is always fun because I hate Stonehenge. But besides the point. Oh, this kid. This kid's gonna get. This kid. Where's he? Ha ha ha! It's like a better Claymore. I'm, I'm telling you, it's a better Claymore. And another orbital. That's so unfortunate. I was on, I was on a rampage as sniper. You know how often that happens? Like once every couple months, I decide to play sniper. It's just like, oh wow, I actually got, did something. I feel like I get this capper. I want to win this game now. I want to come back. I'm gonna get, another, I'm gonna get the strike. That's what I'm gonna go do. Oh, I thought I was gonna hit him. I was like, oh, shit. I hit him. I, I actually hit. I actually hit the person in in the bike. Oh, not the darn. Yeah, no, we need some flag D. Yo, yo, team, yo. Don't make me get another goddamn strike. I'm gonna go get a strike here. Just YOLO. All right. Hopefully, hopefully our team doesn't like suck their own wieners here at the very end. Cause I I sense our team was getting better. Ah. Oh, very. I I thought we were gonna be able to pull that one off, man. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was just a weird match. But, you know, 26 and 4, 9 assists. Extra XP out my ass. You know, who needs to play brute gen defense when you can do it as a sniper? I mean, why? Brutes are so overrated. Heavies, just overrated. Play sniper. That That's that's the moral of this video. Play sniper. All you gotta do. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I hope you try this out. It's a lot of fun. And that way, while you're trying it out, I'll go br brute and rape your ass. Just kidding. I hope you guys enjoyed. Anything else you want to see, leave in the comments. Thanks. See ya.